Hello everyone, my name is Matt and welcome back to Fishbone Island. So here we are in front of our beautiful mediocre park we made last episode. Prospect City Park. It is growing on me. It is growing on me. It's not as bad as I as I thought. Uh, so it's it leveled up in the meanwhile that uh, between episodes. So we unlocked a few new things that we might put in later on and a lot of people are asking me for firefighter well they're not saying that but then their buildings burn down so I better place a firehouse I like this one it's nice and old style let's put it on the main road here next to the police station and the hospital so they have a quick way out if they want to between episode I fixed the fishing industry I placed the key wall so they look neat one next to the other I add a couple more they're just normal fishing harbors so we can produce a bit more fish and we can get to the next level we need to fish a bit more and then we can place like an anchovy fishing harbor and I think anchovies is what we have here anchovies yes so we might do this later on but i don't think so I, I might do it off camera let's see and well if it's the first time you see this uh, one of my videos this is fishbone island it is shaped as a fishbone or that's what we like to say and it's gonna be a touristy attraction there's gonna be plenty of hotels and luxury stuff over here and on this side we're gonna have a rich posh area today we're gonna work on this side of the village we try we'll try to expand it a little bit we might place the tram line if we'll have enough money <laughs> and and we want to reach our next goal I mean I think we're gonna reach it in no time because it's we're like less than a hundred away so we can have high density and then we will think about expanding over here because here we're gonna have a small but not too small uh, high density area so we can have a place for our people to live in so i will show you my my ideas for this side of the village we will buy this square in no time so no problem there I want this road to continue as a as a tram road and I want it to mirror somehow this road here which is becoming a main road actually let's do this straight away let's go into which road I mean we have uh, trees on this side but this one is with trees in the middle let's see how does it look next to the other of course I can place it there but let's see here hmm I'm not sold on this. Let's give them some bike lanes. I prefer bike lanes over trees because they they help people going around and bikes are healthy and I like them in real life and the game too. There you go. How do you like it? Yeah, it's good. It looks like they, there might be a tram line going through there and then they removed it or maybe they're planning to have a tram line going there. So let's upgrade this. And I think I will go soon through these roads and upgrade them because gravel roads are good at the beginning because they're cheap and then they become more annoying because cars drive slow and I mean, they're dirt roads. I don't really love the color of them. Let me place some commercial over here so we can finish our main street. And I was like, let's think about a name for this main street. And then I saw Miller Street and <laughs> I thought it was main street. I was like, wait, the game is reading my mind somehow. And then became paranoid and stuff. So let's, let's fix these intersections. They're not going to be too busy, but we have a problem with this main road because this came from here is a small road that becomes big and I can't put a big road here because we have our favorite fast food chain Big Bites or better known as 
not fishy cakes, KFC for the friends. And it's an historical building, I can't build it here. I can move it with the move it mode. Oh look, they opened the, the franchising in front. No, it's a different shop. Ah, it is the same. Look, competition straight away, one in front of the other. This big bites is not a case to see though. Yeah, it's fine. We have a bit of a commercial area over here. We might, might place a park in there. Let's see if we have a park that fits. It's an odd shape. Look, happy people already. Let's see. It's a nice place for kids. Is it safe? We don't know. Hey, we will never know. Because we will never bring our kids here. But we can place some trees around. There you go. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's a random forest and I might have to add more paths. Like it, it, it's not an important part. It, no one will ever notice that. <laughs> no one will ever notice when you have such a beautiful, huge and beautiful park. Actually, let's check our new thing. So it's a city park. So we unlocked them, if I'm not wrong, the chess boards. So they can play chess. Let's see. I would like to place them. So on this side we have the main entrance, with, which is the less, the least used entrance. I spent like five minutes staring at this, and like no one was getting in. But now everyone is using it, of course. But here we have our plazas and our red, uh, um, cafes. Uh, inside I want to put it more wild. Let me let me place it on this side. There's no trees either. Let's go here. So. People can just enter, they go, they play their chess, like human-sized chess or small... Oh, they're playing actually. I uh, never thought they would play, for real. Let's see, who's gonna win? I would say checkmate in five. What do, you th what do you say? They all look the same, actually. They are just pawns. This is a, a bar crawl, it's not a, a chess game. There's no king, it's a, just pawns fighting each other's. Actually, let's put two of them. So we can have more people playing. It's a, it's, a, it's a good game, good for your mind. So maybe it's good if you have more people playing it. Let's see the entertainment level. It's good. We need more people. Let's raise the price. Because this ain't, keep, ain't free to keep up. So... We might put it for free later. I like to have free parks because that's more realistic. But what else did we unlock? Oh, we're a big town. So I will go through this quickly. Important stuff, we have campus areas. We're gonna play with this later on. It's too early for that. Intercity buses, that's good. Blimps. Blimps, uh, I have plans for blimps and stick around to see. I mean, it will be in a, quite in a while, but uh, we're gonna have fun with that. Metro, ID cluster, blah, 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 policies. And we have high density, residential, commercial, office. We're gonna do this right now. You know, we're gonna play with a bit of high density. We can make it more grid-like. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. Blimps, blah, blah, blah. Oh, incinerator plants already, good. University. I will play with the campus uh, thing. I haven't played with that yet. But I want first. I think I would put just a normal university, just to make it like a, a starting thing. Campus is gonna be more mid game. And that's it. So I said I, said I want to check this. We have war features here. They are good. I would like to place them on this side one day but honestly we don't have the park getting there yet so it's not that necessary now I want to extend this road and in this gap we're gonna th there's gonna be a gap here yeah and there we're gonna place uh, a bit of a commercial area 
so we can just keep up with these demands and yeah I will place the roads and be back in a second just place this road nothing special I place it as a tram road because my plan is to have a bit of a tram area on this side so we can have like a transport medium let's say to get to this new area which is gonna be high density and I did I went to the workshop and found this nice um, bike and pedestrian lane there's already a guy cycling there because I had I ended up with this little gap in here and I thought you know why let's you know what let's put this nice um, this nice path so people can just hop in their bike I might put a actually let's do it now let's place a how do you say crossing I will of course remove the light there's no need, no need for these lights and they can just cross and go on the other side and get on their bike or just walk around and in this side i would like to continue the village with a bit of low residential and who am i kidding i lost the, <laughs> the recording so i'm doing a voiceover now so you know what let's speed it up so we can go quickly through it. Here I'm explaining my plan to have a, a high density on the other side and continue a tram line maybe. So I'll start the zoning, some commercial, I will have a commercial area here and let's see our nice park, looks alright, yeah it's fine. And a lot of people are dying so let's place a um, cemetery, good. Then, you know what, let's uh, continue with the tram road, as I said. Here I'm trying to mimic, to copy the same road we have down to the bottom. It's not really easy, but that's how our tram line is gonna go. We're gonna do it in a second. Now we put down the roads to let people move in and have some, some of it windy as usual uh, low density over here all right then let me put the roads on the top part of the of this side I want to make like a kind of a main road in the middle and then with the tiny roads so we can continue the sides The roads are laid down, let's zone it with uh, low density. I want to make it mostly a residential area, there's not going to be much of a commercial. Maybe on this uh, main road, okay, pipes, they always need pipes. The zoning, as I said, we're going to have some commercial zones here on the main roads because trams are kind of loud and I don't want people to get upset uh, because of the noise so uh, and I like to place a lot of um, paths as well so people can walk around walking is healthy is good for your body your mind so I will do some paths as well I always forget to put them first so there, there they go so people can just walk around and cycle around now here I'm trying to explain the plan with the tram roads, we're gonna see it in a second, but that's our tram map. The road on the top of course is going to turn back into a normal road, it's not a big deal, we knew that before. 
Now with the trams I have to make a turnaround, so on this side the turnaround is gonna take the road. I put a tram road so no cars can use it if they want to cheat. And over here we will put two uh, turnarounds, normal, just for trams. And we will do the nicer later and they can be our end stations as well. Now the tram depot I will place it on the left side next to this station so we can use the main road as a as a road for the trams to get out of course you cannot put a depot on a normal road on a tram road just so you know so I place the normal tram road and I'll start uh, doing the stations soon now my plan over here is to do three uh, loops the, that will take three main stations that will be on the three sides and this one is going to be the main central station let's say it's not a real station is a multi-platform stop and I like it I like the look of it and I put it in front of the park although there's not much people's traffic over there but we will see with time how does it go Now with the lines, we will start from the bottom ones. It's a simple, easy route, nothing special, going around the se Central Park. Well, that's a good name. Uh, our Prospect Park, how it's called. And the three of them, they're gonna share the, the turn, but it, it's fine. I, I put them down to two trams per line. It's not gonna be busy anyway, it's not a a really big area where it's gonna be too busy then I noticed people weren't really happy so I gave them knowledge so they could grow and be smart and have fun and enjoy my city at the best then I went around I checked this main station in the middle not many people go there but who cares so I decided to decorate a little bit this stop. It's not that bad. It's, I mean, it's basic uh, stuff until I noticed this lady. So I made fun of this lady for a while and she was acting a bit weird, but then she took the tram and just left for her house, I guess. And then we're a small city. Great, I read, yeah, 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 trains, stuff, cool, cool, great things. So our tram lines are going to ride, I mean just put them down, nothing special, but then I realized we still have gravel roads and I was sick of them, so I decided to give a thank to the firefighter and then change the roads. I went for a few main roads in the middle and the rest are just paved roads, normal stuff, nothing special there. finishing the zoning into this main road when I realized I wanted to show you guys how beautiful does it look without the gravel road and I decided to follow uh, the first delivery guy I found and he was going around and driving with his nice motorcycle and enjoying this beauty look at this the details <laughs> well not many but it, it is it looks good for for starting village and then he got here the ugliest house i've ever seen in this game so well it must get a different name i called it the ugly house no i changed it i call it the ugly residence and it's an historical building now so it's gonna be there for the forever with us and we will have to look at it every once in a while. Then I went around 
gave some knowledge to people so they could learn and bring money in and then I realized our park was just a few inches away from three stars so I turned to the fishing industry for a moment placed down a few anchovies mess around with the roads usual stuff and then I placed a nice uh, path into international waters to start a new conflict with our neighboring nation whatever it is And of course they were gonna complain about the war missing and I placed the last few pipes of the day, some electricity, we're gonna use the turbines for a while, I think that's gonna be our main thing. And then I checked how this guy was doing with the ship. It seems like the fish factory still needs more fish, we will bring them more fish soon, but some I think they fluctuate with the amount of fish they received so I think I tried to put a, a warehouse for fish and it either doesn't exist or I'm stupid and I can't find it second one is possible so if you have a suggestion about how to have a good warehouse uh, let me know but I just set it up with uh, goods for the, the fishing industry going out so the factory is gonna stockpile the, f the fish that they produce, or the canned fish. As a last thing in this episode, I wanted to finish the park, upgrading it, place a few um, Gazebos, maybe more than a few, but maybe way too many. <laughs> but I love gazebos, they look so natural in a park. A good place where to relax, where you would go to have barbecues and stuff. So I have been placing way too many of them and then I spammed so many trees that now I'm regretting it and I might change it before the next episode. But I wanted to put them into the shades, hide them a little bit so people would go there to relax, you know, so to make it a nice, good uh, environment where you would naturally go. That's it guys, I'm sorry for the inconvenient, I hope you guys liked the video anyway. It's, it's a different video and if you liked it, uh, give a like, give me a comment to let me know what you think about it and if you want to see more about this series, just subscribe, just a spoiler, next episode we're gonna play with high density, we're gonna start uh, a good big city, so Stay tuned, ciao!